Hello, Salesforce enthusiasts. Um, today we have a fun one. What we'll be doing essentially is uh, generating a PDF from a specific account record. Let me show you what that, what the end result looks like. So if I'm here in my instance and select an account, what we'll be doing is creating this button with some code in the background that actually generates a PDF. So you'll see we're on Alvarez 45. If we click on generate PDF, we'll get a nicely laid out uh, PDF that uh, is printable that inherits values from the actual account object. So that's our task for today. Um, follow along to create your own uh, PDF from the account object. Let's do this. All right, so we're logged into our instance here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, I'll show you where this button will appear. So if we go to the accounts object and pull up this Abbott 358 account, what we'll do is we'll generate a PDF letter uh, for this particular account. So it'll inherit uh, these values and we'll add a button here that says uh, generate PDF um, and we'll see how to do that here shortly. So first things first, in order to generate a PDF, we want to create a visual force page. So go ahead and access your settings and type in visual and what we want to do here is access the visual force page and here we are once we are in this visual force page setup what we want to do is click on new and this is where the magic happens in my particular scenario, I'm going to call it Welcome to 21 knots. Make sure there are no spaces in your label or your name. Um, I use underscores and it works fine. And then for the visual force markup, what you'll want to do is access the file that I've included in the notes uh, below this video and copy the content of the file. And go ahead and select all in here and paste it into this markup section. So let's go through this a little bit. What we have here is a key. Any, any visual force page uh, that includes Apex will start with this section up here. And this is where we're telling the visual force page to um, render uh, a PDF, essentially. So you don't have to know much about this other than it's a bunch of Apex code uh, but mostly it's HTML, uh, which you're probably familiar with, but uh, let's go through it uh, just for kicks here. One of the things um, I have is I want a logo uh, on the top of my PDF, and uh, we need to put in the logo URL here, which we'll do next. Over here, I'm styling the whole uh, PDF to make sure that the font is sans serif. Um, this is my heading of the letter. Down here is uh, some more styling. So I want a 12 point uh, font size and I want to align the text on the left, left side. And here's a paragraph um, with some text. And you'll see here that I'm inheriting the value uh, of the account name. So doing so, uh, whenever we click on the Generate PDF button from the Account Details uh, screen, what it'll do is it'll inherit the name and then uh, put it on the actual letter. 
and then your account details. Again, here we're creating a table and inheriting uh, the account name, the account owner's name, and the account created date. Uh, lastly, we have a, a couple paragraphs and uh, down here we're inheriting the account owner's name again uh, just for an example and then I'm styling some text in a different color uh, in a different size and I have uh, our address here and our website and then in order to close out this visual force markup uh, we close out the apex code so that's that's it so the next thing we're going to be doing here is uh, uh, uploading a logo and putting the URL here. Um, so once you have that text input it, go ahead and click on save. There we go. Now we want to go into the files object over here. And we want to upload some files. So I'm going to upload a JPEG here. Um, I actually tried this before with a PNG and the image file didn't render uh, that well. It was a little pixelated for some reason. So I recommend uploading a JPEG which generates uh, correctly on the PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the file there we go. Now the key thing here is I want to create a uh, public link uh, for this particular file to be able to access it pretty much from anywhere. So what you do with the file selected is go ahead and click the drop down arrow and select public link and create link and then click on create. All right, now we'll copy the link and the trick here is to, in a new tab, go ahead and paste that copied link. And it's important to uh, be able to right click and say copy image address here, which is different than the actual link that was copied. So make sure you do this. Um, select copy image address. And then let's go back to our Visual Force page under Setup. Here we go. We're going to edit this Welcome to 21 Knots. And right where we have this value tag, go ahead and paste the URL. Click on Save. And then we can click this little icon up here to preview what this will look like. So here's our PDF, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got our stylized text. We've got uh, some blank value here. So this, according to the visual force code that we've inserted, will we'll grab the account name. Uh, again, account name will be put here, account rep. Customer since is the account creation date. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is looking good. Now the last thing we'll want to do is create the uh, button that will generate the PDF from the account uh, detail page. So creating a button is as simple as going to the object manager accessing the account, going to buttons, and over here we want to do a new button or link. And the label of our button is gonna say generate PDF. Uh, we want this to be a detailed page button and we want the uh, account object and over here, and I've included this URL below, but over here you'll paste the actual URL 
to the visual force page that we just created. Now, in order to generate the URL, uh, this is a little trick I found out. Um, we'll need to uh, find out the uh, how to point to the Apex page. So what I do is uh, essentially uh, you'll want to grab this particular section uh, of whatever URL your Salesforce instance uh, points to. Go ahead and copy that and in a new tab, paste it, uh, type in Apex, uh, forward slash Apex, and then welcome to 21 knots. This is the Visual Force page name that you gave it. Go ahead and click enter and notice how this URL will change here. To a visualforce.com. So you'll want to grab this guy here. And go ahead and paste it. Uh, let's add apex forward slash the name of our visual force page. Welcome to 21 knots. And then we want to pass it the ID of the account. So the account ID, we're just going to use a merge field. Go ahead and select account ID. And that's it. Let's save it. Now, the way I add buttons to my object is I like to go to the actual object. In this instance, we'll go to the account. And let's pull up Nelson 829 and go ahead and edit page. Uh, from the account. Now we'll want to add a button up here. Um, and in order to do so, you'll likely get this little upgrade to dynamic actions, which we want to do. So go ahead and click on upgrade. Now, this will migrate any settings that you might have. Uh, ensure that you select migrate option and we want to migrate the account layout click on finish now up here what we will want to do so we see all our buttons um, that are in this section once you have it selected so what we'll want to do is go all the way to the bottom add action generate PDF. So I'm going to start typing gen. We see our generate PDF button with the URL that was created here. Uh, select it, click on done. Let's move it all the way to the top. There we go. Save it. Let's activate it and make it the org default for both desktop and phone. There we go. Save it again, just for good measure. Now, if we go back to our accounts page, uh, we're on Nelson 829. Let's try out our new PDF. So we see our button here. Let's click on generate PDF. And sure enough, here's our cool new PDF file um, that inherits the account name, the rep name, um, you know, it even signs by the rep's name, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's how you generate a quick and easy PDF in Salesforce. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, uh, please like and subscribe uh, to my videos. It helps out the channel 
And if you have any suggestions as to um, some Salesforce functionality you'd like to see, please go ahead and drop them in the comments and uh, I'll respond to any questions you might have. So there you have it. Generate PDFs in Salesforce.